So what I do for the next series of videos is uh, build up a QRP lab C uh, QCX CW transceiver. Um, I've built up quite a few of these before. I think they're a great little kit. Uh, they're about 50 bucks. Here's one I did, uh, I've, I've done earlier. Um, the, um, the case actually comes separately. Uh, costs a little bit extra. I think it's around about $37. So what I thought I'd do differently though this time around is um, the, the kit itself um, basically takes you through uh, putting all the resistors in, putting all the capacitors in, putting all the sem semiconductors in, kind of in that order. And what I thought I'd do a little bit differently is, is actually build it up module by module. Um, and I've got the, uh, the actual schematic here, and it's probably going to be a bit hard to see on the, um, on the video, but there's certainly well-defined modules that you, that you can build up. And kind of the order that I thought I'd build this up in is first starting with the power components. So we've got uh, the 5 volt regulator here. We've got some, uh, some sort of 12 volt uh, ripple filtering over there. Uh, and then moving on to, um, uh, there is a, a CW filter right here. Um, so that, that, that I'd build next. Um, then following on um, over to the, uh, the, the final amplifiers here for the receiver. Um, then moving back uh, in, the, in the receive chain to the, uh, the phase shifters. And uh, not actually, I've got, got a video before on, on phase shifters. And uh, you know, this is a very similar construction. Um, and then uh, what, what I could do is actually test this whole receive chain here once I've got uh, the, the phase shifters, the CW filter, and the final receive amplifiers by injecting uh, I and Q signals in here. Um, I forgot to mention this is an I IQ style radio uh, similar to, to, to ones that I've showed before. Um, and then, you know, the next step would be to, um, to basically uh, install the bandpass filter over here. And I can do the same thing here. I can inject a signal here. I can actually tune the, the bandpass filter here, make sure it's, uh, it's peaking on the 20 meter band. This, uh, this, uh, this happens to be a 20 meter radio. They, they come in the, 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 usual, the usual bands. And then um, it, it gets to the point where I'm gonna have to install the uh, at mega. Um, because in order to, uh, this, is, uh, this is a kind of Talo detector here, and the Talo detector takes um, a, a, the I and Q signals from this, uh, this frequency synthesizer here, working backwards, this frequency synth synthesizer is controlled by the, uh, by the Atmega. So at that point, I'd have to install the Atmega. Um, the, the, the frequency th synthesizer is actually already on the board. Uh, you can actually see it here. It's, the, it's, a, it's a tiny little IC. Let me just uh, get that here. So this is the frequency synthesizer here, SI5351, uh, which I've, uh, I've also used uh, elsewhere. And this is an uh, FST uh, 3253. So this is the heart of the, the Talo detector. Uh, the kit actually, uh, the, for these two SMD components, uh, actually uh, pre-installs these for you, which is kind of a bit of a blessing, particularly with this one, as you can see, the, uh, the pin spacing on that is, uh, is super tiny. Um, so that's what I thought I'd do. Um, I thought that'd be more interesting than just uh, sort of walking through, uh, kind of installing all the resistors and all the capacitors. Um, now, this is just something I wanna do. Um, I wouldn't recommend if you're building this that you would do that, so you would sort of build it module by module. Um, the instructions are very well written and very clear. Um, so, you know, certainly if this is the, the first time building one of these QCXs, I would definitely recommend follow the instructions um, I've built quite a few of these and, uh, you know, I don't mind it, you know, it's a 40 buck kit, so 50 buck kit, so, you know, if something goes wrong, I don't mind doing the troubleshooting, but, uh, you know, that, that, that's just me and I thought it'd be fun uh, doing this in the video and then kind of as, as I build up each stage, um, sort of demonstrating the, uh, the, you know, how you could test each stage, uh, each stage of the um, transceiver separately. Um, you know, after I built all the receive path, then comes the uh, the transmit path, and you know that consists of uh, here's your here's your PAs here, three uh, BS one seventies. Uh, there is a um, 
a low pass filter here also. And then there's some transmit receive circuitry that uh, disables the receiver when, when you're transmitting. Um, and then we got some other sort of associated circuitry here. Um, you know, this, this section here basically uh, uh, acts, as, acts as a buffer um, uh, from the, um, you know, from the uh, fr fr from the synthesizer through to the uh, to, to the PAs. So, so it's all going to be a bit of uh, a bit of fun. Um, and uh, like I said, uh, step one is going to be um, installing the the power section, and uh, we'll take it from there.